Bonjour mes amis, hi guys. Quick video on the fly to compare a bit this new Seiko SLA 045 limited edition of 300 pieces for the Southeast Asian uh, retailer uh, for, for Seiko, Tong Sia it is called. And compare it a bit to my other, other Seiko divers in this box. A couple of my divers are missing, uh, but it's nice to, s nice to see them together give you a bit of perspective and I gotta say this is so luxurious it is a really a stunning beautiful watch incredible colors there on the on the bezel on the on the dial see my full review on the channel and I love how the the patterns there on the dial are very discreet you can barely notice that they're there unless you you know it everything really is perfect in the the proportions of course it's a it's a big big heavy heavy watch but you've got all the the upgrades in the the movement you have um, extension in the clasp it is absolutely beautiful you don't even need a huge wrist for it because the lock to lock isn't that big uh, it's just that uh, it's a nice thick chunky watch but honestly so much fun to wear but but the color of that bezel is just a unique and great choice of sort of sunburst gray there so when you see it with the next to the 200 millimeter version sort of a reduced version this one still looks nice but it, it's uh, not at the same level of craftsmanship obviously you're, you're 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 bothering the grand seiko level here with the marine master and uh, the polish quality but here you still have a great taste of uh of the design and with the steel bezel it's just stunning you don't get uh, the extension on the fly though but a very cool release from uh, last year which i called uh, the steel master here you have the captain willard i think that's the it's, the, it's one that you, ha you have to have just a classic look wears very flat similar it's the same actually same um, bracelet and clasp as uh, as this one here but very different look of course and I think this one is just perfectly reissued in a, in a in a better format at 42 millimeters by Seiko I absolutely love that one um, just three amazing amazing divers here what can I say they're, they're great same movement in those two 6R35 and here we have the uh, 8L, 8L35, if, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Now the classic here, classic of classic SKX, gotta have it uh, in both versions, I think, the, the black and the uh, the Pepsi. Pepsi is in a different box. The black, I wear this all the time to play tennis, and it's incredibly resistant to, to shocks. No issue, it still keeps time very well. And on this Jubilee, it's very comfortable. Now one of my favorite releases, you're going to have one in one form or the other, the 62 mass. So here it is next to the, you can compare the blue and uh, the, the shades of blue. It's very different. I think it's one of the most beautiful blues I've ever seen. It's a gray blue, really, with that classic 62 mass kind of shape. But this one has the advantage of having uh, a bit more work on it compared to the straight reissues. You have uh, a nice little bevel polished there unfortunately on, on these ones they have raised a little bit the the bezel you see a little gap there i think if it was flush it would be absolutely perfect it's the only thing I, I don't like as much but overall great colors great indices and hands and it it aligns perfectly by the way same with the, the marine master perfect alignment same for the the blue willard here limited edition again i'm not attached to it as much as i am uh to the, the black one or, or this one or this one so this one i'm not sure i'm gonna keep it the the smaller turtle smaller version turtle in the paddy version with a great dial i think this one is perfect in every way much better technically than uh, the skx but different charm different style and the turtle, I find them a bit too big. So the, the smaller variation here, the mini turtle as they call, it's been called, 
uh, this one is really excellent. I really enjoy it and it has the Cyclops forearm movement, which are always very good. All the details here, man, they really done a, a great job on that one for the indices, the hands. And you know, I still love the uh, Samurai, very original case. Very cool crown and uh, and bezel. Everything there is really perfect, I think, on the dial. Indices, hands, aligns perfectly. Date, I mean, phew, really great, great piece there. So yeah, how to choose a favorite. Of course, the Marine Master is in a different league in price <laughs> as well, uh, but in a league of, uh, of its own compared to, to the other watches, just absolutely stunning construction. You have a very thick crystal. So it's top loaded, so the everything, the movement and everything is loaded from the top. It doesn't need a valve to release um, helium gas. So that's how Seiko does it and it is quite imp quite impressive. I don't like diving, by the way, but <laughs> I had to I had to have these because uh, I think they're beautiful. So let me know which ones are your are your favorite. Uh, I, I love this on the strap here. Very nice uh, strap that I bought from uh, Mr. Chrono. I think it's uh, Camille Fournet in France who makes these. Mr. Chrono is a uh, has an online presence. You can find them and order these. And I got it uh, in a short version because the regular version is actually way too big, almost as as long as the the Seiko straps, so I'm glad I took a short one. The cushions here actually are pretty much the size of my wrist, so it gives you an idea of how I wear the the, the watch. SKX gotta have it. Well, you gotta have them all. You know, it's like chips. You know, you can't just have one. Uh, but if one has to go, I think it is the the blue one here. Just too much blue at at one point, and uh, this one is just more just more discreet more cool and uh, I already have that one there you go hope you've enjoyed this uh, little Seiko diver to any question any comment put them down there and uh, I wish you a good weekend bye bye guys